In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and program this QFX Jumbo Remote Control. It's a very easy job, but you might need a little bit of guidance. I'm going to make it real easy for you and put in a couple of different items. This is Rudy from Take a Bath Productions with another video showing you how to fix various things. If you're a subscribed member to my community, then welcome back. If you're new to my channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button below. And please like this video if it was helpful for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so we have this QFX Jumbo remote right here. Right off the bat, when I was figuring out this remote for the video, this is a really big remote, but the peculiar thing is, this remote was probably made for someone who may need big buttons since eyesight didn't, tends to decline with age, but the instructions are really small, like microfish small. Anyways, just thought that was odd. Um, so as always, make sure you have pretty fresh batteries in your remote when you're programming it. Marginal batteries can affect the remote to not work properly and they go right here under this back cover, and it takes two AA batteries. So let's get right into the programming. You might notice when you go to program this remote that there are over a dozen device categories of codes, but only five device buttons that you have right here. So you might be thinking, which device button do I, do I program my device to? Especially audio, if you use a sound bar like me and there's no device button for audio, you can program any device to any device button. You just have to remember which device button you use in case it's not labeled audio or whatever. Um, unfortunately, there's no streaming buttons or codes for streaming devices like Roku or Apple TV. However, it will actually work with Amazon Fire Stick using your TV's HDMI CEC. Here's a video I did on that a while back to explain what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'll do the direct code entry first. You'll want to start with your device turned on, and you'll need your code list that came with your remote. If you don't have it, I'll post a link in the description below to it. Um, you're going to want to take the first code from the list under your device brand and remember it. Okay, so press and hold code search until the LED stays on. Okay, press and release the device button, TV in my example. Okay. Enter the code from the list that you remembered earlier. In my case, the code for an LG TV is 0015. Okay, now point the remote at the device and press power to see if it turns off. If nothing happens, try the next code in the list. If this code does work, you'll want to go through some of the functions like volume, up, down, left, right, input, etc to see if the remote works as expected. If only some functions work but not others, you're going to want to try the next code in the list since some codes will only partially work. If you've used up all the codes and still no luck with this, just move on to the next section with the auto code search to see if you can hit on a better code. Uh, one more thing, if you have a smart TV, this will probably only work the basic functions so you won't have any app shortcuts or stu uh, stuff like that. So keep that in mind. Okay, next let's input a sound bar to show another device. Press and hold code search. Again, LED is on. Press the device button that you want to use. In my case, I'm inputting a sound bar and there's no audio button. So I'm going to put it over here on SAT. Remember I said earlier that you can put any device on any device button. You just have to remember to use that device button for whatever device. Okay, enter the code for Bose, 0868. All right, same thing as before. Check out the functionality of the code. Next, let's run through the manual code search in case the direct code entry method didn't work. This method searches through all the codes in the remote's memory that might operate your device. This method can take a while if your code happens to be the end of, near the end of the list. Same as before, start with the device turned on. Press the code search button till the LED stays on. Okay. 
press and release the device button that you're trying to program to, TV in my example here. Okay, now aim the remote at the device and keep aiming it while pressing the power button slowly and repeatedly until your device responds. You're sending out one code at a time with every press of the power button. Once your device responds, press enter to store the code. Okay, unfortunately there's no way to reverse the sequence if you've passed your code by accident. You'll have to begin this again. If you come up with a code that makes your device respond, same thing as before, check the functionality of the code. If it only partially works, try the sequence again, but this time stop on the second code that responds because you already know the first one didn't work. Then try again. Keep doing this until you come up with one that works. If none of them work with either of these two methods, then throw the remote in the trash. There are some other things that the manual mentions, like programming a sleep function, code retrieval, to see which code is in the memory, and so forth. I'm not going to cover these, but you can check the description below uh, to the manual and see it from there. Okay, thanks for watching.